that's a very, very, very good first touch. I would like to think that I'm up there with him in the fight. We won't do that in a game. Hi, I'm Bernardo Silva, and this is my first touch tier list. Simple question, who's got the best first touch in the squad? I think I'm going to be I'm going to be real here. I, I, I didn't want to give this answer, but I think it's real. I would like to think that I'm up there with him in the fight, but I'm going to give it to Riyad. If you were to teach kids about first touch, what would, you, what would be the fundamentals? Position your body well to, to receive the ball. Well, it's also a lot of practice and it, it, it's, got, it's a lot about focus and concentration. And then uh, it's, it's just about uh, putting the ball where you, where you want your next touch to be. So if you're shooting, you need to do it one way. If you're just controlling it to keep the ball, you, can, you, you need to do it uh, another way. But it's, it's a lot of practice, like everything, it's just about practice and your understanding with the ball. To the top here, Gunduan with the strike and the goalkeeper stays rooted to the spot. That's good, huh? Especially because it finishes in a goal. Yeah, do you, think it, yeah. do you think it was intentional, the movement, yeah. to take it away from defenders? Definitely, definitely. So good in these kind of things. Not just in this one, but especially uh, turning like this and like this. So yeah, that's, that's a very, very, very good first touch and finish. That needs to be up there because it's a top, top control plus finish. So it ends with a goal. So I'm just, I just don't know if I'm going to put here or here, just because maybe there's one better than him. Uh, maybe I'll change it later, but this goes here. Ilkay Gundogan needs just five minutes to hit the target. One man is quite common with uh, his ball of feet is Edison. This is one example of many. Edison, touch on that from Edison, beautifully done. Really good. He's really good on the ball, and. Uh, and yeah, that's a, that's a good quality of him and it helps us a lot in our build-up and the way we control the counter-attacks. So yeah, it's not on Gundogan's level, I'm sorry. But it's, it's very good, it's very good. Excellent reading of the game from the City Keeper. This is me. No, I think I'm up there as well. I think I'm at least here. I think this was Champions League against Basel, no? That's correct, yeah. And um, yeah, it's, it's a good touch. And I think I'm up there, so I'm just going to leave space here because maybe there's someone that did something very, very special. Was I it, think this is good, but it's not that, that special. Was it made harder by the fact that um, Fabian was having to clear it outside of his foot, so maybe you weren't expecting it? No, it was hard because uh, the, when, the higher the ball goes, the harder it is. Uh, and because I, I knew that there was a player coming for me, so it, you need to keep it very close to you or you need to keep it away from him. And I also had a player inside, so yeah, it's, it was not easy. Now this first touch is really good. Uh, I think I think it's just it's just the way the best the best thing that I like about Riyad's touch sometimes the way he, he, he gives his first touch at the same time as he dribbles an opponent or he prepares or he prepares for a shot. So I think this season I don't remember which game it was, but there's there's Liverpool. The, the, the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup, I don't remember, where there's a long ball and with the first touch he controls the ball already just to then, sh to then shoot it. And that's when I think Riyad is so, so good. Um, that's where I think he's special. Um, and also, also playing on the right wing and having the time to prepare his first touch, it's also something that for sure he worked since, his, since he was very young. I will put Riyad here because he's very special on, the, on his first touch.
Phil Foden's control for the second time in the space of a minute. He keeps the ball in that could easily have gone out of play. This is, this is difficult because the ball is going out. Because, because you're looking, you're looking at the ball and you have to, you have to know more or less where your leg is going and it's not easy at all to get it right. And Phil is, Phil is up there, top, top three of the team in, 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 in first touches. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put Phil, I'm gonna put Phil here with the big guys. Oh, everyone's kept very high at the moment on that list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably have to put someone down. Maybe the keeper will go down eventually, but we'll see about it. This is this is a nice skill. This is a nice skill, but this is this is a foul actually. You cannot keep the ball there. So I'm gonna put Kevin. Kevin has got a good touch. It's not his best quality, but he's he's, he's got a very good touch. I'm gonna put him. I don't think he's I don't think he's in our level to be honest in terms of touch. So I'm gonna put him here. I'm gonna put Ederson here. Sorry, he's a goalkeeper. He needs to, he doesn't care it anyway. So. Does Kevin not get more points for being able to control it in between his legs? Well, which is it's, possibly it's harder. A, it's a great, it's a great touch, but it's not football. He won't do that in a game, so I'm not, I'm not having it. Would you not try it? No, no chance. No, not at all. Fair play. The ball, the ball is high, but it's quite, it, it's, not, it's, not, it's not there. It's like when the ball goes there, it's quite easy to control the ball. And Jack, Jack has a really good touch. And he's, the way he controls the ball and the way he protects the, the, the ball from, from defenders is very special in that. Um, and yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be nice to him. I don't think he's, he's now a level as well, so he's going with Kevin. Sorry, Jack. This is very hard because, because he's going on the run and he has to turn and he has a defender so there's, no, there's nowhere for him to go. And to control the ball in the middle of the park is much more difficult than controlling in one of the wings. Because in one of the wings you, you see everything and you know where the defenders are. And well, you con when you control the ball in the middle, you don't know if you have a defender on your back so it's quite more difficult and maybe you have two players. Um, Julian, I'm going to put him also here. I hope you liked it, I hope you agree with me, and yeah, nice to see you.